guys, welcome to Mr. Holland Reviews, and we're going to be reviewing Llama Llama Mad at Mama. Now, one of the fun things that I love about reading Anna Dooney's Llama Llama books is the rhyming. They flow so well together, the words. So as you go through the book, next time, why don't you find all the rhyming words that you can? Also, I love the story. This reminds me of when I was a little kid, and when I wanted to do something, and my parents wanted me to do something else, I could relate to how Llama Llama felt. Llama Llama was playing with his toys, and then all of a sudden, Mommy said, they need to go grocery shopping. Now, that's not what he wanted to do, and that's why Llama Llama was getting really upset. And it didn't help that it was just so bothersome going to the store, trying on clothes, all those things were bothering Llama Llama. Now, the thing that I didn't really appreciate about the story is that Llama Llama, when Llama Llama got mad, he got mad. He had a tantrum. He was throwing things. He was making a mess. He was hollering. And how did Llama Llama get the problem solved? Well, his mom had to help. His mom came and said, let's do this together. I don't really like shopping, but we have to do it, so let's just do it as a team. Let's clean this up. Let's get this taken care of. And then they were able to go about the rest of their day. So I want you to think about that. Maybe there was a time where you got really mad and you knew that you didn't handle it that well. What was that like? Maybe you can tell your parents or your teachers about that time where you got really upset. Think about how you would have fixed it. Or maybe how you would tell Llama Llama to fix it if Llama Llama got mad. I want you to think about those things next time. But I'm so glad that you were able to enjoy this book. I hope you love it as much as I do. And I will see you guys next time for Mr. Holland Reviews. Bye!